Hi everyone, and welcome to your daily devotional for Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. This week we are talking about perspective, about points of view, and especially the point of view of others. In the next few moments, I invite you to reflect on how you can change your perspective in order to create a more peaceful and positive reality. We begin by turning to Psalm 130, and this reading and all of the readings today come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. I cry out to you from the depths, Lord. My Lord, listen to my voice. Let your ears pay close attention to my request for mercy. If you kept track of sins, Lord, my Lord, who would stand a chance? But forgiveness is with you. That's why you are honored. I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for my Lord more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for the morning. Israel, wait for the Lord, because faithful love is with the Lord, because great redemption is with our God. He is the one who will redeem Israel from all its sin. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, be so near to me that even on my worst day, I can still reflect your grace. Allow grudges to melt from my heart at the mention of your name. Create peace in my life so that healing can occur within my very soul. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, verses 18 through 23. Listen for God's word. Because of their actions and thoughts, I'm coming to gather all nations and cultures. They will come and see my glory. I will put a sign on them by sending out some of the survivors to the nations, to Tarshish, Libya, and Lydia, and to the archers of Cilicia and Greece, distant coastlands that haven't heard of my fame or seen my glory. They will declare my glory among the nations. They will bring your family members from all nations as an offering to the Lord on horses, in chariots, in wagons, on mules, and on camels to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord, like Israelites bringing an offering in purified containers to the Lord's house. I will select some of them and priests and Levites, says the Lord. As a new heavens and the new earth that I'm making will endure before me, says the Lord, so your descendants and my name will endure. From month to month and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all humanity will come to worship me, says the Lord. Here the prophet says that those who survive the Babylonian captivity will go throughout the earth proclaiming how great God has been to them. In what ways do you share with others how God has acted in your own life? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, verses 1 through 13. Listen again for God's word. Now when Jesus had come down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. A man with a skin disease came, kneeled before him, and said, Lord, if you want, 
you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched him saying, I do want to become clean. Instantly, his skin disease was cleansed. Jesus said to him, don't say anything to anyone. Instead, go and show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded. This will be a testimony to them. When Jesus went to Capernaum, a centurion approached, pleading with him, Lord, my servant is flat on his back at home, paralyzed, and he is suffering awfully. Jesus responded, I'll come and heal him. But the centurion replied, Lord, I don't deserve to have you come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. I'm a man under authority with soldiers under me. I say to one, go, and he goes, and to the other, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and the servant does it. When Jesus heard this, he was impressed and said to the people following him, I say to you with all seriousness that even in Israel, I haven't found a faith like this. I say this to you, that there are many who will come from east and west and sit down to eat with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness. People there will be weeping and grinding their teeth. Jesus said to the centurion, go. And it will be done for you just as you have believed. And his servant was healed at that very moment. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus says here that it is not someone's birth or station in life that gets them into heaven, but rather their faith. Some who we might expect to be good Christians are not, while others who seem much less likely to be so are. Who is someone that has surprised you with their incredible faith? Let us pray. O oh God, who is my great comforter, allow me to harvest gratitude regardless of what life brings as I sing praises to you. Help me find solace in moments where darkness lies in your holy and gracious name. Amen. Friends, may the God of peace make you holy and the power of the Spirit sustain you this day and every day. Go in peace. Stay well. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.